Back in 2003, Cliff Taylor traveled to Amadon to play a round of golf. The course had no tee times and no green fees. Located in the southwest corner of the state near Highway 85, the course was just something put together in a pasture by a man who thought it would be fun. We'll have the update to what happened to it after this story. Ernie Holzmer is a farmer who likes to golf. But after a hard day's work, there never seemed to be any time left to play. Besides, there isn't a course anywhere near his farm. So Ernie built one in a pasture, right next to the field peas. Yeah, I have a couple of neighbors come over and play. They kind of enjoy it. It's something to do in the evening, too. I have a couple of beers come over and play the, play the holes. There are only four holes on this course and no green feeds. If I charge, then people will expect something, see? Oh, that was this way, if it's free, they can't complain. <laughs> Ernie says he hasn't mowed the pasture for a while, so you really need to get your ball airborne in order to have a chance on this course. No sand traps or water hazards to worry about here. However... You gotta watch out for the cactus. My first shot went in the rough, but I was able to chip out over the cow chips. On number two, I got all of the ball. Holy cow! This pasture is located right along Highway 85, a Can-Am route that runs from Canada to Mexico. It's kind of hard to play the whole thing without people honking at you. You got to wave at them, of course. And... Sounded good. Golf Digest thought this course sounded too good to be true, so they called, looking for a magazine story. Yeah, they weren't too impressed. Uh, they asked me all kinds of questions about it, wanting to know where the clubhouse was and where my driving range was at, and uh, he thought there was more out here than that. You know, he just kind of said good luck and hung up on me. Ernie doesn't get hung up by a lot of golf rules. I don't keep score. I, that takes all the fun out of it. <laughs> you also don't have to putt out. Just get the ball within 10 feet of the pin and pick it up. If you ever drive by Ernie's course and want to play, but forgot your clubs, no problem. Ernie leaves lots of drivers, irons, tees, and balls on the first tee box so anyone can hit around. I love <laughs> that story. That's got to be one of my top oh fives. Oh, my God. That, that was one of the funniest well, stories I ever did. I'd forgotten <laughs> that you could hit a golf ball yeah. so well. Yeah, right? How that many takes good. did it take to get that good drive? It was It was the first take. Because, yeah, you know, you're working alone, yeah. And, yeah. And, and this was back when you had tape yep. and not, like, unlimited yep. card. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can't just sit around and, and roll 10 <laughs> minutes of tape until you get the right shot. And and I was amazed that I hit a one -take wonder. that shot um, That's so when, uh, when I hit it. I just love so the magazine, cool. like, hey, let's do a story in the yeah. clubhouse, and yeah. wait a minute, no, there, no there's oh none gosh. of that. So. We're not interested I in this. I love it. <laughs> this is like my childhood, though. Yeah. I was telling you guys that we used to rake greens, ride yeah. bikes yeah. to the, the mm -hmm. golf course. That basically was a pasture. And, yeah, you, you said that you played a similar, you know, yeah. kind of uh, course. Yeah, well, we had a pasture golf course yeah. at the Kurzman Farm for a few years, but... No, it fine. is no longer yeah. open. Now, can we play Ernie's course? No, I contacted Ernie, and he said that he kept his farm pasture golf course open for about mm. seven years after I did that story in 2003. But it ended up kind of uh, taking up too much of his time because, you know, sure. he's it's a farmer. Busy, yeah. You don't got a lot yeah. of time busy. to, you know, kind of play around. So uh, around 2010, he let it go to seed, and today it's used for hay, mm. for hay. And Ernie says he still remembers about 100 golfers that came by and played, many of them complete strangers. Now, only in <laughs> North Dakota. You used to do that, right? You just lay some golf yes. cl yeah, clubs <laughs> yes. out there, and anybody that comes I by, they're not going to steal them. Love it. They're just going to play no. around and then leave them for the next guy. And that doesn't seem like Perfect. a weird thing to me, but I bet <laughs> yeah. if you're not from here, yeah. it is weird that yeah. you would just yeah. leave golf clubs yeah. laying out in the pasture. I loved Ernie, and oh. I loved doing that story. That was a great one. <laughs> love it. Lots more stories <laughs> like this in all three of your books, which are available yes, here at, at the uh, Barnes and Noble and uh, Books on Broadway and uh, Main Street Books and Minot, and then here at the station as well. Okay, thanks as always. That's great, Cliff. Cliff.